backyard sand lots. The, the dirt may have turned a little bit muddy this morning as we had some thunderstorms move through. You can see mainly on the Missouri side and into mid Missouri, but uh, where I was at on the north side of town, we got a heavy thunderstorm for a good 30 minutes. Officially, though, we got nothing. In Kansas City, this day will go down as a dry day apparently in Kansas City. Downtown got some rain. Lee Summit got about a half of an inch and then Clinton spots of Henry County where this yellow is that is near two inches of rainfall right across the Truman Lake area right now out at the Truman Sports Complex getting ready for another Royals game. It is windy and this actually may be a really good combination of a southerly wind helping to push the ball out and higher humidity also creating less drag on the ball to let the ball fly out of here. So maybe we can get some more home runs compared to last night. I think we had two last night. I think so. 85 in Independence, not too far from the Truman Sports Complex. 88 in Bonner Springs. Toganoxy and Lawrence and Payola have made it into the 90s this afternoon. Some sunshine, hot and humid for the first few innings. We're taking on the Phillies. And if you're going to the game tomorrow, Try to find a place in the shade if you can. It's one of those 110 first pitch games, and 95 is going to feel more like about 105 for, for Sunday's game. 801 is the sunset time this evening. We notice it gets a little sooner as we go through the end of summer and into fall. Temperatures pretty much just sit in the upper 70s overnight, bottoming out close to about 75. We'll say like 75 to 78 degrees across the area underneath a starry sky and then some low to mid level clouds passing through, especially late morning in the afternoon. I mean, the real story is it's it's going to be a lot hotter tomorrow. I think 95 for the high temperature southwest wind, not as strong as today, but still going to be hot, making 95 feel more like about 105 and Liberty downtown Olathe, maybe at 103, 105 up in Maryville over in Leavenworth. Sedalia and Marshall also getting to about 103 for the heat index. The UV index also running very high. The entire area now underneath a heat advisory until Sunday evening. Would not be surprised if this gets extended through Monday because I think heat indices on Monday still will be close to about 105. And storm chances start to come in on Tuesday, Wednesday. We'll have a cold front that comes through, which is why it won't feel like 105, but it'll still be really hot and humid. But storm chances Tuesday through Friday. Best chance of rain right now looks to be Thursday night into Friday morning. We'll have to monitor that for the chance of strong thunderstorms. And right now into Labor Day weekend, it looks dry but questionably cool. So we'll monitor that period for some rain chances too.